The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Fresh Earth Bakehouse is the first exclusively gluten-free bakery in South Africa to be ISO 22000 Food Safety System Certification compliant. Anine Vermeulen tells us more. Their certification is one of the highest food safety systems currently in place. It is a robust, internationally accepted certification scheme for the assessment and certification of food safety management systems in the entire supply chain. It covers the key requirements of many existing food safety standards and programs. This is important for companies that would like to use the bakery facilities and expertise to produce their own gluten-free ranges. Fresh Earth Bakehouse currently produces the Spar gluten-free range of biscuits, muffins, breads, and rusks, as well as the cake and bread premixes and a wide range of gluten-free breads, cookies and muffins for Dischem pharmacies. We got our ISO certification in October, November last year. It took us about a year to get uh, accredited. Um, our main clients are Dischem, um, Spa, Pick and Pay uh, and a, a number of smaller independents. Additionally, the bakery produces gluten-free baked goods under the Fresh Earth Bakehouse label for Pick and Pay. The range available at selected stores includes bagels, seed bread, muffins, white and brown bread, rusks, cookies and vegan rice bread. There was a gap in the market. There was nobody producing um, gluten-free on a mass scale. And we wanted to bridge it from a, being a mom and pop uh, a sort of industry into a mainstream industry. Uh, so the whole concept is to create a facility that could supply the big retailers in the volumes they need it. Um, and then over and above that, there's a market in it. There's money to be made. Fresh Earth Bakehouse has the capability to manufacture low-carbohydrate bread and other baked goods. This is important for retailers to note as customers are increasingly switching to low-carb eating plans. Previously, the bakery was part of the Fresh Earth food store in Emerentia, Johannesburg. As a result of increased demand for gluten-free baked goods, Ballenden made the bold decision to move the bakery to new premises in November 2013, enabling further growth of the business. The Fresh Earth Bakehouse now occupies a 1,000 square meter site in Boysens, south of Johannesburg. Currently, the bakery has a daily output of between 1,500 and 3,000 units, with capacity to produce up to 15,000 units per day, should this be required by retailers. Health benefits are much less inflammatory response in your body as gluten creates an inflammation in your body it's easier to digest um, just a, a lot of uh, better all-round health benefits on the body so we, we uh, manufacture our own branded stuff as fresh earth uh, branded goods and our top sellers there are our fresh products our breads and our rolls and uh, we do a variety of breads and rolls right through to even banting and low carb products um, and then we white label manufacture for a number of people, which actually makes up about 60% of our revenue at the moment. Fresh Earth Bakehouse has a staff complement of 20 local artisans, all of whom have been personally trained by Ballenden to perfect the art of gluten-free baking techniques. They are all dedicated ambassadors for the bakery. As such, a staff trust, which will see 10% of the bakery being owned by the employees, was set up in February this year. The company plans on expanding into Africa, Europe, Australia and the US. For Creamer Media, I'm Anine Vermeulen in Johannesburg. Other news making headlines this week, Johannesburg is chosen to host the International Entrepreneurship Congress in 2017 and ArcelorMittal South Africa flags an iron ore import plan as it seeks a new pricing deal with Kumba. Johannesburg has been chosen to host the Global Entrepreneurship Congress in March 2017, a first for Africa that will bring together entrepreneurs, investors, researchers and policy makers to foster entrepreneurship worldwide as a tool for development. Well, uh, clearly there's uh, a global attention on Africa right now to shift away from uh, a sort of aid mentality into sitting down, 
sitting down around the table collectively um, and thinking about what are the things that we can we can do to to enable uh, growth to expand. Uh, and so when Johannesburg beer, we were very excited. What we saw is a most unusual and unique collaborative uh, 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 spirit between obviously the city, uh, corporate community like Barclays Bank, uh, the province, uh, and obviously the, the minister um, uh, of, of small business. Uh, and to see all of that happen at the government level. And then on top of that, all of the entrepreneurial support organizations essentially said, yeah, we want to work together in this, even though typically they have to compete for some of the uh, resources and audiences that they want to help. Uh, and so essentially we saw the right atmosphere here. Steel producer ArcelorMittal South Africa has signaled that it is aiming to reopen historically fraught iron ore pricing negotiations with Kumba Iron Ore. So we have a cost plus arrangement with Kumba where we are entitled to take six and a half million tons of iron ore per annum which would be our requirement but it's not take or pay but we do a year in advance have to give a commitment of how much of that iron ore we're going to take and we do every quarter have an ability to true it up within five or ten percent and so this relationship obviously goes back to the ISCO days and this relationship is important for South Africa because we are a beneficiator of iron ore. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.